your tire pressure messages and we did not copy your last. About 12 minutes later, the orbiter tore apart over Texas as the public watched in horror. The crew transmitted no emergency call. Mission Control attempted contact after the cutoff, but by then, debris was seen falling through the sky. The Columbia Accident Investigation Board later reconstructed the fate of the crew. The hot plasma from atmospheric reentry entered the damaged left wing and ate through the shuttle's internal structure. The crew module depressurized by about 9.01 a.m. This was the first lethal event. None of the astronauts had time to don helmets or gloves, so they were exposed immediately. Within seconds, all were unconscious from hypoxia. During the breakup, their bodies were violently shaken. The shoulder belts locked too late, causing traumatic head, neck, and torso injuries. Superheated gas also flooded the cabin. The crew's pressure suits offered only partial protection as fire and molten debris seared their bodies. Finally, as the cabin disintegrated, the astronauts were exposed to near-vacuum-like extreme forces and struck the ground at high velocity.